About an hour and a half from now, more members from the First Baptist Church of Fernandina will be back in Jacksonville. 54 members of the church were stuck in Israel as the war was going on. Early this morning, we caught some of them as they arrived back at the airport. News for Jack's reporter Khalil Maycock joins us live from the airport. Khalil, the executive pastor says the church, uh, about those coming back, that they will arrive on separate flights? Yeah, that executive pastor says two flights, one from New York and the other from Charlotte, will bring back 25 members of that group. And he says he's excited for them to arrive and settle back into their homes like those who arrived early this morning. A handshake and a hug. That's what some members of First Baptist Church of Fernandina did when walking out of the terminal early this morning. We're just excited to be home. Yeah, we're very, very thrilled to be home. Chad Goltz, a pastor at the church, is among the group's 54 members who were in Israel for the church's yearly trip to the Middle East. 18 landed early this morning, while some came back Friday. This time, the yearly trip was a bit different because the Israel-Hamas war. Suzanne Devane says at first they didn't know what was happening, but they soon caught on. Right before we got on the boat, I heard someone from Taiwan speak to our guide and said, rocket launched. And it didn't really register with me what they were talking about because he did not continue the conversation. It was just kind of a puzzled look on his face. And when we, um, we were on the boat and when, as soon as we got off, we could see kind of the looks on our pastor's face, on our guide's face, that um, something had changed. That change was the war. But that one rocket hit, I want to say it was seven, six, maybe five miles from us. Um, and so it began to feel very different. The group says they could not fly out of Israel because several major airlines canceled flights into and out of the country. The group also says to get away from danger, they crossed into Jordan. And then when you know you can't get out, it's like, what, what do we do now? What do we the group do? also tells News for Jacks they were glad when they were finally able to leave and are happy to be back in Jacksonville. And just continue to pray for all the people over there in the middle of the chaos. And the executive pastor says some of the members of that group that landed early this morning did manage to make it to church. And we will be here when those two flights do land tonight and bring you those updates tomorrow. Reporting live, Quill Maycock, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Khalil. We plan to have more coverage of the Israeli, uh, the Israel-Hamas war coming up tonight at 11. Until then, you can visit newsforjax.com to find the latest updates.